We are going to make retrofit as global. Hello, my friends, and welcome again to my course. So we have seen in the previous videos how to make clean architecture. So we have separated the networking logic, the UI logic, and the dialogues errors logic from the main UI. Now, if we go to the questions list use case and the details use case classes, these are the networking that uh, what we have used to make separation of the networking logic. We see that we have created two instances on the constructor of the fetch questions list details use case and fetch questions list use case. Retrofit have two instances. So we have created two instances from retrofit and this is wrong because at OK HTTP, which is included in the retrofit, should be actually shared between the clients and not instantiated between clients and different instanti instantiation of retrofit. And if, we, if you see in the, my previous courses about MVVM and re retrofit, we, we use and we, we concentrate on using the singleton pattern. So we have two ways in order not to make two instances of retrofit and make one global retrofit uh, call and one retrofit object and make it as global and used by the different clients. So in this way, we have two ways to prevent the uh, multiple instantiation of retrofit objects. We have the singleton pattern and the constructor injection way. So the singleton pattern, we have learned it before. If you go to, uh, to the previous courses, you can see and learn about the singleton pattern and how to use the retrofit with singleton pattern. And this, sometimes this way will uh, make some troubles we're using the code and instantiating one object and ending with different objects. So uh, we will not use it in this case. We will use the constructor injection method. So I will make the fetch questions list use case will get a retrofit parameter. Okay, so retrofit here and I will get it retrofit okay here we have a, a displayed an error because it's not a global now also the same way i will make it like this receives an instance from retrofit and here good to go i will create a new class called my application my application my application and this class will extend extends application oops and here i need to create the instance of retrofit so private retrofit retrofit okay and I'm using the UI thread annotations and making it as public I use the constructor and using the retrofit here get retrofit I'm making a method here get retrofit if retrofit equal equal to null, I will create a retrofit instance. So this is checked if the retrofit is already created. So if it is not already created, go and create a retrofit instance equal new retrofit dot builder. Here we don't need the method retrofit and dot base base URL constants 
constants constants sorry dot base url and dot add converter factory and i need to use my friend json converter factory converter factory dot create and last thing it is called build so what we are, what we am uh, what i'm doing is checking for retrofit if it is equal to null so it is if it's not instantiated go and create an instance of retrofit so we have seen in the pre in the previous classes that we have created the retrofit uh, instances okay so i will remove it from here and i will remove it from here okay because we have created a global retrofit uh, instance return retrofit okay this is very simple application class that will create an one instance from our um, our retrofit objects okay so as i told you i have removed these codes from the constructors now Let's go to the questions, details, activity. Questions, details, activity. And in the networking, in the networking, I will remove this line because it's having an error. We need to pass parameter and we create retrofit, retrofit. Retrofit, oops, retrofit equal to my application, casting it to my application retrofit instance, get application dot get retrofit. Okay, I have here and get application okay this is the application get retrofit get retrofit i will put it here get retro okay so i need to get also one M fetch fetch questions fetch questions use case equal to new fetch questions use case details details use case and I will pass the created retrofit. What well, we are do we are making sure that my application will create one global instance from retrofit and use this global instance of retrofit in the networking in the details activity in the same way i will do in the lists activity okay so i will go to the list activity list activity i will remove this and i will copy this oops i cut it and I will paste it and fetch questions use case and I will make fetch questions list use case. In this way, I am telling the two activities of uh, the list and the details uh, questions to use the global retrofit, the global instance of retrofit that we have created, okay? The last thing I need to make amendment for it, I will close these, is the constructors for the use cases uh, classes. So I will scroll down to the constructor. Where is the constructor? Questions, details, use case. 
questions, the fetch questions use case, it's here. And the Stack Overflow API retrofit.create Stack Overflow dot class and we have passed it before and the same way i will make sure that make it the retrofit and this stack overflow stack overflow dot retrofit equal retrofit dot create i will save the project save project and run the application and one, la one last uh, amendment, because we have an error here, because if we run our application, it is making an error. I need to use and create Android name dot my application. So I will create it. And this class, it is here. Uh, I need to make it inside the DI app package. So I will click on Alt plus enter create class my application okay i will go from here i will copy it and i will paste it here okay package Just let me see okay i will copy the uh, previously created my application in the common and I'm pasting it inside this. So I'm just pasting the codes and I will delete the previously created my application and because it is now find inside the DI app. And this is the hierarchy of our application. I will cl cl click run. Okay, I see that, okay, I need to make sure that my uh, importing the right package. So we are not importing the right package because, okay, I need to put it here. My application, click Alt plus Enter and it is solved. Click Run and let's see. Okay, I need to to enable the internet connection. Internet connection. And I will start the A app. And here we go, we have our application is working fine. So in this way, we have created our application and we have uh, making the, and using the constructor injection to prevent the retrofit multiple instance creation. We will uh, making, uh, we will continue making this application more and more um, uh, clean and we'll learn more and more complex uh, context and content. Okay.